Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Facebook Effect, the inside story of the company that is connecting the world. A genius, a former Harvard University student, a dropout, a startup business entrepreneur, and a world top billionaire in Forbes ranking. Hearing these tags, you may be involuntarily reminded of Bill Gates. But our protagonist today is Mark Zuckerberg. Like Gates, Zuckerberg also dropped out of Harvard to start his business and achieved huge success, building his own business empire. Bill Gates founded Microsoft and built it into the world's largest software supplier, making him the richest person in the world at just the age of 31. Comparably, Zuckerberg founded Facebook at 19. In Forbes World's Top 10 Youngest Billionaires list of 2010, Zuckerberg who was then 25 ranked first with a net worth of $4 billion, becoming the youngest of all of them on the list. Because of this, this young man was hailed by many as the next Bill Gates. In the Facebook effect, the author gives a detailed account of why and how Zuckerberg founded Facebook. The book also reveals why Facebook was able to outshine other social networking companies and become an unparalleled force. This book was written by David Kirkpatrick, an experienced journalist and author with 31 years of writing experience. He is the former senior editor of Internet and Technology at Fortune magazine. Before he started writing this book, he wrote a weekly column called Fast Forward at Fortune for several years. He also created and hosted Fortune's Brainstorm Conference. To write this book, Kirkpatrick interviewed over 130 people, including co-founders of Facebook, its employees, investors, potential investors and partners, thereby providing readers with an authentic record of the development of Facebook. This book is a very enjoyable read. Chris Anderson, the author of The Long Tale spoke highly of it. He said, Kirkpatrick's amazing reporting details what happens when the hacker culture turns into a multi-billion dollar firm. Mark Zuckerberg sought to maintain that hacker energy, and it's fascinating to read what resulted from it. Also, Bloomberg Businessweek's columnist Rich Jaroslavsky praised this book as engrossing and a detailed and scrupulously fair historical account of Facebook. In this bookie, we'll introduce this book through the following three parts. Part 1, How Zuckerberg Founded Facebook. Part 2, how Facebook evolved under Zuckerberg's leadership. Part 3, how Facebook became a business empire. Mark Zuckerberg was born in a middle-class family in New York, USA. His father is a dentist and his mother is a psychologist. When he was still a boy, his father began teaching him basic knowledge about programming. Later, his father even hired a software developer as his tutor as Zuckerberg showed great talent in the field. He had the benefit of excellent parenting throughout his childhood. A talented boy as he was, he was always a top student at school. During high school, Zuckerberg's academic performance won him every honor and award available, including prizes in math, astronomy, physics, and classical languages. He was also captain of the fencing team. Additionally, he could read and write French, Hebrew, Latin, and ancient Greek. Zuckerberg's passion for programming started young. He got his first computer at the age of 10, launching his amazing lifelong relationship with this device. His computer skills were mostly self-taught. When he was in high school, he designed a plug-in for an MP3 player which could make song suggestions based on their listening history. His enthusiasm for programming grew even stronger when he was in college. In his sophomore year, he developed a program called Course Match. One could click on a course to see who was signed up, or click on a person to see the courses he or she was taking. This program soon became popular among Harvard students. Not long after, Zuckerberg developed another program called Facimash. In it, users could pick the best-looking person from a bunch of photos. The photos were mostly taken the day students arrived for orientation at Harvard and were maintained by each of the Harvard houses. In order to get access to the photos, Zuckerberg had